What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my Grandia 100% playthrough. Guys, we're on part number 22 right now and the grind is done after <laughs> uh, way too long to be honest. Yeah, way, way too long, but it is, it is done at long last. So, let's take a little look-see, shall we, at uh, just where we are at now. So, for Justin, I did go ahead and learn pretty much every ability available, including his his weapon ones. Obviously, we can't learn the last two just yet, that's fine, and chances are, we're not really going to use many of these abilities either. Now, my earth is a couple lo uh, levels lower than fire. Like, I know, I know I've said before I want to keep them, like, identical and that. For now, it, it is what it is, you know, I'll, I'll slowly start to get his earth levels up as we move through um, the areas for now, and then I will eventually get it matching his fire level as well. His wind, I only went to 23 with that just so we could unlock the last actual wind spell, which is Halnado, and we're kind of just leaving it there. Likewise, for weapons, you know, I figured, eh, let's just go 25 on everything. I had to take the mace to 25, so I just took sword there as well. Axe, I just, like, I blanked out while grinding, so we ended up getting one level extra there. Not a big deal at all. And then for Sue, obviously we already did Sue's grinding before. I decided against actually leveling up Sue's wind for one simple reason. I just didn't want to grind anymore. So Sue was going to be my, my last character. And in the end, I was like, eh, she's already kind of broken. So why why bother? You know, we can we can still run through using Sue's wind spells. That's not a problem. So we will get some more levels on that as we go, but for now the grinding is done anyway. Fina, again, you know, likewise I did say I was gonna take whip and fire up to level 30. The reason I purposely only went to level 30 and I stopped at level 30 is because that's where the whip method here, like using fire whip, actually becomes kind of bad. Once you hit level 30, things slow down, and that's why we stop there. And of course, we did get her last weapon ability as well, Zap Whip. And we did take Wind up to level 20 just so we could unlock, you know, the last uh, the last skill, which is Protect. Now, obviously, we can't unlock the, uh, the level 1 or the level 3 skills. That's going to be way later. But for now, she's also, uh, she's also done. I just took Knife to 29 just for a little bit more SP for spamming Fire Whip as well. But that's, that's kind of it. Now, as we go through, I am actually just going to be using, like, Wind Magic with, uh, with Fina. Well, technically with all three of them, really. Although, Justin is going to get some Earth levels instead. Like, we're going to be using Digging with Justin for now. Uh, once that's up to level 25 as well, we're going to switch him over to Wind 2. Just because I don't need any weapon levels. And then for Gadwin, like, I got his sword up to level 50. This grind in particular took the most of the time and it's also the reason I decided not to grind Sue anymore because the EXP was worse than I actually remembered. So I only got it up to a little bit and then I just started leveling Earth solo. Could have took that to 99. Honestly, didn't really want to spend any extra time doing it so I just stopped there pretty much. It's not the greatest, like, I could I could make use of that EXP elsewhere, but for now, it's it's fine, you know what I mean? Although, what I'm going to do is, with Gadwin, I'm going to still go back to spamming uh, Digging. Then again, actually, that would just add, like, a huge bunch of time on. You know what, with Gadwin, I'm just going to leave him on Withdraw, to be honest. There's not really any points in Gadwin doing anything now. He's not going to get any you know, any real levels or anything. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave him there. As for everybody else, you know, we're we're just gonna level them as they go. Realistically, I could probably leave Sue for now as well since her wind is already level 30. But you'll ooh, nice. You'll see at the end of this fight just how little EXP we're actually going to be uh, to be getting unfortunately. So it's just one of them, really, you know, just just one of them. Uh, so yeah, I'll use Hell Slash as well. Might as well. It's like we might actually kill him, to be fair. It's like as long as as long as I can kill everything using just them two, we'll be we'll be fine. 
Come on. Come on, Sue. You can you can do it. You can do it. Do that. Oh no, so they did die. Okay, so yeah, I can I can just do that. Dig in with Justine and then Hal slash with Sue and Fina. That's gonna be fine to be honest. Oh, Fina's fire is actually on 99 EXP. Hmm. Might have to might have to use that. Right, uh, nope, wrong one, wrong one, don't ambush me, I just want to go to the boss. Please let me go to the boss. Alright, so let's go. But yeah, so, we're gonna kind of avoid a lot of the battles from here on, both in this area now and the upcoming areas. And there is actually, there is actually a reason for this, okay? So, the reason we're gonna start avoiding the battles now is simply down to the fact that we've sort of we've sort of maxed out on you know the general exp we can get from these mobs so all we really want to do now is oh justin's not actually gonna then again let me use fire with yeah might as well get this fire level uh, but yeah we've sort of maxed out now on the exp that we can actually get so moving moving forward there's not really much point in doing any grinding because we're not gonna really be getting anything if that makes sense you know what i mean it's like we're really not going to be getting any worthwhile exp so because of that there's not really any point in actually fighting the mobs so all we're going to do now is just run through collect all the treasure i'll fight some battles but you know it's sort of it's sort of less important for me now like we're not going to do any grinding now for a very long time to be fair Right, what do we got? A Guagoat! Zupado, get a boy, Eva. English, motherfucker, you speak it? That's the Clap King. Set your mind on defeating him, Justin. Leave it to me. But he looks so weak. Yeah, appearances can be deceiving. I really hope nobody watching has epilepsy there. God, man, remember back in the PS1 days with all the flashing lights? Right, now, what I am going to say, though, is this Hydra is actually a really good boss for leveling as well. The reason it's good for leveling is look at all the enemies on the ATB bar. They all have, like, they're all targetable on that, and that means they all give EXP as well. But, we don't really care about that. Like, Justin's just going to start spamming digging again. And then we're just sort of gonna murder the boss with Fina and Sue. Cause it's like, as I say, I'm already I'm already past the point now of good EXP. Although then again, Fire Whip will actually still give pretty good EXP on this boss. Like per Fire Whip, I probably earn about 40 EXP at level 30. So it can it can still be pretty pretty decent. But again, you know, I, I did all my grinding on the mobs because, well, why not? I was into watching Lucifer. No spoilers, if you spoil me, I will murder you. But yeah, so all we're, all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna focus on leveling wind. And then we'll move on while doing that. It's like, honestly, I could, if I really, really wanted to save, you know, a lot of time, one of the things I could do, which, to be honest, I might actually still do, is I could just put everybody on, you know, like, all out or play fair or something like that. And then with that, the characters will just all start murdering basically. So the minute somebody gets a turn, that's it, everything's gonna die. So I could end up doing that to save a bit of time. But because I still wanna, you know, I still wanna get uh, another Earth level for Justin, I still wanna get some more Windy XP for Sooner and Fee. Sooner and Fee. Right, you know what? Let's let's just pretend um I didn't say that. Because, quite clearly, I am going insane. Um, I still want Windy XP with Fina and Sue. Yes, there we go. That's that's better. That's that's much better. <laughs> God damn it, I'm actually going in crazy. Oh man, it's it's one of them days, guys. It's it's one of them days. Just let me let me go crazy in peace, please. Oh shit, man. Oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. Alright, so how much health are they on, actually? Uh, yeah, they're kind of getting there. It's like, they're, they're not that far off now. Also, we want to make sure to kill the heads before the main body as well. Now, obviously, I don't need to because I've done a big grind. 
but I am really, really, really not expecting you guys to do anywhere near as much grinding as I have. Granted, it's not going to change, you know, the overall levels of power between us, because Grandy actually does that quite well, to be fair. You know, the higher levels, yeah, they don't really mean much depending on what you level, kind of. Like, how we're using Wind right now, yeah, that, does, that doesn't matter. It's not going to make us stronger or anything like that. But for the, uh, the most part, we want to kill the heads for the gold. Now, we'll still, we'll still get all the XP, I think. I'm almost positive you still get all the XP even if you just kill the body. Because basically, once the body dies, the fight is over. So that's why if you kill the heads first, they'll drop like a bunch of uh, a bunch of bodies as well. Obviously, you know, I've done a massive grind. I've killed way too many mobs now. So that really doesn't matter at all for me. I have enough gold to last me like a lifetime, pretty much. But, you know, for you guys, if you want more gold, kill the heads. But again, like, we're, we're basically done with this fight now anyway. One more Howl Slash should kill off the remaining two heads. And then I might just go through and uh, murder the body with anybody to care. Hmm. Is there still a head alive? There is still a head alive. And the main body is still got 400 health. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's just murder. We'll, we'll just murder it, it's fine. Hmm, that's weird. I don't know why the body died there as well. Oh well, it's fine. As I say, we're only missing out on some gold. Well, number 3,000 gold, 2,500 DXP. Aw, oh, I should have gone for the wind spells. Fino is actually close to another level there. Oh well, it is what he says. It's not the end of the world. We did it, Justin! Next, just pull out the Spear of Heroes. This is splendid, Justin. All that's left now is the final trial. The one just now wasn't the final trial? No, of course not. Alright, so let's go find out what the final trial is, shall we? By standing on the uh, rather obvious giant purple button. But yeah, this is this now, guys, is definitely where you're gonna start to see just how dark things are gonna get, basically. Well, I suppose what's coming up isn't necessarily dark dark, but it's kind of a hint at how the game is no longer really childish. So like, things are definitely gonna change a lot in terms of the story from here on. We're also going to experience, uh, well actually I'm not, I'm not going to say it, you guys will, you guys will find out very soon what we're going to uh, experience for the first time. What's this? It's a dead end. Where is the Spear of Heroes? Justin, everything ends here in the Room of the Mirrors of Destiny. This room itself is this tower's final trial of the hero. The trial is written on that stone tablet. You'd better read it, Justin. Okay, let, let's read it. Hey, Godward, it says something, but I have no idea what it means. The stone tablet reads, He who wishes to change destiny, choose either the mirror of the moon or the mirror of the stars. One leads to the future, the other to the land of death. We're gonna die. Does that mean if you select the wrong mirror, you're going to die? Did you know from the start, Gadwin? Gadwin is one man. He said that he couldn't save die. So maybe this is what he meant. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Justin. I won't let you die. I'll go into the mirror first. Wait a minute, Gadwin. What if you choose the wrong road? In that case, Justin, you go into the other mirror. It is certain to lead to the future. You fool, Gadwin. I don't want to hear that. That would mean that you had died. You're kidding, Gadwin. Did you intend to do this from the very beginning? You were just passing through as a traveller and decided to help save our village. Your gallantry moves me. Don't make such a face. If I die, it will be up to you, Justin, to save Dite. What a hero, man. What, what a hero. He's an inspiration to children everywhere. Even if a man has to lay down his life, he must carry through. 
Gardwin, surely you will return. We are praying for the protection of the spirits. <laughs> Good luck with that. My name is Gathering Stone Thomas. Oh, that went way too quick. I didn't even press a button. Farewell, Justin. Farewell, Gathering. There's there's a little bit of a problem here. What happened, Gathering? I mean, you guys literally just watched him try. The mirror's too small for me. I can't get in. Come on, Gadron, I was so moved by your sincerity. There's no laughing matter, Justin. Now you have to go. That's what the stone tablet of the trial says. You must take this road. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna die. We're, we're gonna die. Game over, guys. I now follow the lead of the spirits. I'm gonna choose the mirror of the stars. Why did you do that, Pina? That's not heroic, it's foolish. Why must you put your life on the line? Yeah, exactly, man. Why, why have we got to die for this? Die, your adventures will end. Is that what you want? What are you saying, Fina? I have to go. Other people have died, will all die. Are you saying that's okay? You aren't gonna go, Fina. Tell you, man, always thinking they're right. That's so true as for me, Fina. I believe in you. Yeah, you, you sure is the way. You now follow the lead of the spirits. Oh, she can't choose my. I believe in you, Fina. Come on, girl. Choose the mirror of the stars. Oh gee, it's almost like that's the one I chose, huh? You just have to come back. I'll try, I'll try. Yeah, everything depends on me. I got this, bro. I got this, man. I'll, I'll show you guys how we do it. I'll show you how we save everyone. The road that Fina chose for me is the right one. Thank you, Fina. You know, uh, Justin, buddy, I I think maybe you might have chosen uh, just a little too early. This is the spear. Here goes. You know, considering it's an ancient, like, spiritual weapon, I kind of wish we could keep it. Well, nice knowing you, Justin. Yeah, it's collapsing. Better run. And we're being saved by the spirits. Yeah, what's this like? Dude, the spirits, man. You should know that by now. <clears throat> Indeed, he pulled that out. Let's go. Come on, guys, get out the tower quickly. Uh, how about you leave too, Gadwin? No, 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 just leave, leave, buddy. There you go. See, when people are hysterical, you just pick them up and drag them off. Problem solved, then, right? No, the tower's collapsing. Don't worry, he's fine. He's fine. You know, I've only just realized. But the the image of the tower there. Notice notice what the design is based upon. I've I've never put two and two together before. And yeah, that, that's totally a comment for those who have played this game before. But no, I, I've never put two and two together before. Like, now now I know what that tower was actually based on. 
Oh man, how how have I never realized that before? That is shocking to be fair. I didn't have to take these two back, I would kill myself right now. You suicidal fool. <laughs> yeah, dumb dumb idea, sir. You shouldn't you shouldn't kick somebody in armor. What's that Justin? loud? What? Ow! Well, we're now magical. We can teleport. Oh. They can teleport me out like that. Why can't they teleport Justin! me to where I need to go, man? Are you alright? Are you hurt? He's fine. He's fine. Chill. Are you kidding? I'm just fine. Wow! Justin, you're like a real hero! That's right. You're just the man I knew you to be. R really? Come on, Gadwin. You're gonna make me get embarrassed. Oh, Gadwin's such a father figure to Justin. Justin. Bina, how about that? I did it. Aren't you impressed? Yeah, Bina, aren't you impressed? Go and give him a kiss. <laughs> Not like that. What? What the heck was that for? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> you fool. I... <laughs> Look at me. I'm crying. <laughs> you have no idea how worried I was. <laughs> Vina. Promise me, Justin. It's almost like the voice actor couldn't stop themselves from laughing there. Promise that. that you'll never, ever worry me like that again. I... I'm sorry. I promise. I'll never make you cry again. I swear. Justin, you you had me really, really worried. Aw, oh, such a moment. Hey, it stopped raining. Such a moment. Look, 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 everyone. Over there, it's a rainbow. Well, that's typically what happens sometimes, so when, you know, like, it rains and it's light out. Like, that, that does happen every now and again. I don't think we can actually see, though, if we go up to the edge. No, we can't. We can't see it. Oh, well, that's fine. Right, so, we are now pretty much completely done here. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to leave the Typhoon area. And we're just going to go back to where uh, to die it. And then the new leg of our journey is actually going to begin. And this now is, well, let's just, let's just say there's going to be some cool stuff, okay? It's like, this is where, this is where all the really fun stuff is going to come. Right now I can get out without triggering any battles. I don't want to trigger, god damn it, I knew it was going to happen. <sighs> oh, I'm out. Okay, you know what, let's just, let's do this the easy way. It's like, I'm just going to put everybody on playfair. It's like, everything's going to get murdered really nice and quick, man. Which means we'll be able to just, like, sprint through the uh, these next few areas. Which, really, it's all we want. As you can see, we're only getting, like, 1 EXP per hit right now. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, it's just, it's just because we did so much grinding before. Please don't need aggro me. God damn it. Yeah, because we've done so much leveling now, like, we're not going to get any real XP for a while now. That's why we're just sort of going to, you know, quickly run You're through. No match for me. Pick up the items, though. It's like, there will, there will actually be uh, some really good items coming up as well. There's two very specifically that... If I remember rightly, are actually in the next area. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to think which the next area is. Um... Yeah, they, they might actually be the next area, to be fair. Some very, very good abilities. Right, um, let's just go sell a bunch of the crap that we picked up. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back. I want to sell you some stuff, buddy. Uh, right, I'm going to keep the Oracle Disease Charm. I can go Demon Amulet is being saved. Health Weed, Truffle Vaccine. So I just get rid of all this. Fire rod. Yeah, we'll keep the fire. Why is that crashing? 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go save because that was that was weird. That was like freezing for some reason. I don't know why. No, that's still freezing. Why is that freezing? Okay, I need to save. What is going on? Like something, something weird's going on here. And I, I actually have no idea what is going on right now. But something is making my game kind of crash. Right, let's try this again. Oracle stuff in, demon amulet in. I've already got a range weapon equipped. What is going on? Why is it fine all of a sudden? I really, I really don't know why it's fine all of a sudden. Keep a sickle. Actually, wait, is Justin got an axe equipped or a sword? I can't remember what he's got. Sword. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll keep a sickle. Alright, let's go. I have no idea what that was. That was really weird. Did you guys see, like, the stuttering and the freezing? Hmm. Oh, I need to talk to the guy first. Oopsie. Hey, guys, I'm back. Oh, you've returned, Gadwin. When the rain stopped, I knew you must have succeeded. Now, Gadwin, it's time to thrust that spear into the dragon's nest. Sounds kind of like, uh, like a sentence from a fanfic right there. I'm afraid that is not for me to do. Listen, people of the flying dragon. The dark clouds are banished by the arrival of a hero, as in the legend. This hero's name is Justin, an adventurer who has come from afar. Let's all praise his name. Yes, praise me, please, praise me. It's like, praise me all you like. I love to praise, it gives me big ego. Oh, to the hero, Justin, to the dragon's nest with a spear. And you have what it takes to do it. Uh, yeah, that, that's really not like a dragon's nest, though, buddy. That's quite clearly like some kind of technology. Yeah, you just you just stick it in the hole, Justin. It's fine, bro. And there we go. Man, I love this little bit of the theme music. Absolutely love the music here. Thanks to you, this village has been saved! Hell yeah, it has! Yeah, you just give me- you just give me a bracelet, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, so Fina, Fina's the real hero. There we go, guys. Adventure, adventure over. Fina's now named as a, as a hero. You know, we're gonna settle down, have a nice mansion. You know, it's like, we're, we're never going on adventures again. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stay in this village as heroes forever. No, unfortunately, unfortunately not. Instead, it is time to go. It's like, this is now where we're gonna be on our next little leg. Oh, I need to speak to uh, Gadwin. Whoops. Come on, Gadwin. Come on, buddy. So brave hero, Justin. What are your plans now? Well, I'd like to take a vacation. Of course, I'm going to look for Angelo. I mean, yeah, that, that works too, I guess. Like, it, it wouldn't be my first choice, but, you know, we, we, are, different, uh, we are different people, so that's fine. Mm hmm They're going to the ruins to the south. You coming, Gadwin? Come on, buddy. You can you can come. Oh yeah, we gotta do gumbo. Hmm. Mm. I forgot about gumbo. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go for a party, man. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I kinda completely forgot about Gumbo. Oopsie. Alright, okay, so as we already mentioned, we're gonna try and avoid, like, majority of the fights here. 
So this is the Lamaya Mountains. Now, when it comes to the treasure, it's actually really, really simple. Just go around to the left and then move a little to the right while going forward and you'll come to like the, uh, the hill. So simply move around to the right. Ideally, without glitching out. You climb to the top and then you just move straight forward. You get to the cliff, boom, bag of gold. Now, what we can do now is just move all the way to the right and then south a little bit. Once you get to the end of the, uh, the area, you can move south a little bit more, another bag of gold. And now we can sort of cheese this a little bit. So we're gonna sort of do like a little circle and then move back on ourselves pretty much. But we are just gonna be following the edges of the mountains just because it makes life easier to be fair. But we will end up back uh, going back on ourselves in a minute. All right, so now that we've got that bag of gold there, we're gonna cross this little tiny bridge and move left. Now we are meant to go right here, but we're gonna go back to the other side because remember that giant cliff we were at just? Well, we're now on the other side, obviously. This is, this is the giant cliff. So bag of gold there and there's gonna be another item down here. Just makes it super simple to get all the items because the area is big, wide open. So it can just be really annoying to get this stuff there. So that's just that's just the way I do it anyway. Right, with that though, we can now move on to the next area. And this one's the fun one. Yeah, could you could you hear the sarcasm in my voice? No, it's fine to be fair. It's not that bad. We are gonna have a little camping session though. Don't know why, because we've literally like not even moved, but you know, it is it is what it is. So, like, I definitely think this game has bad pacing with the camping spots. But let's talk to everyone. We should talk about the land that lies ahead of us. Is there anything you'd like to ask? What is the village of Gumbo like? Gumbo is a warm village facing the sea thanks to the nearby volcano. It feels like late spring all year. And though a coastal village like Diet, Gumbo is completely different. It's lively with year-round festivals. It's a party place, man. That's why you got so. Whenever I'm full, I feel tired all at once. You know, no matter what you cook, it's always so delicious. Yeah, we just make Fina do all the cooking, that's fine. Yeah, you didn't do much, Justin. Say, so, Justin, what kind of place is Village has gone by? I don't know, I've never been there. But yeah, she's just hinting now. It's like, we gotta, we gotta get Gadwin to tell us everything about Gumbo, unfortunately. Even though there's not really much different between the three options, like, he, he basically... He's just sort of explaining that Gumbo is a hot place that has a lot of parties, pretty much. Uh, that's kind of what all the uh, all the commands are, other than this Twin Towers one. Between Gumbo and the Twin Towers lies mountains that spew deadly poison gas. Yeah, we'll, we'll sail, man, we'll sail, it's fine. They're going beyond the end of the world. From here on, we'll be traveling to lands not on the map. I mean, they will be on a map, just not on a map that you own. Remember, you have the map from the other side of the wall. People on this side of the wall will have maps, Fiona. God, I'll tell you. All right, bedtime. Let's go, man. Let's get the Lamaya Mountains done. Next up is Gumbo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Colonel. The forces station in New Palm do not report having discovered Justin. No report, you say. Drat, where did he disappear to? I've done continue searching New Palm. With the end of the world, there is only one place for him to return to. Walking over the wall is impossible. Send the reports directly to me without going through, General Ball. Um, yeah, walking over the wall isn't that impossible, dude. It's like, why does everyone think it's impossible when three kids accomplished it? If three children, three teen, well, two teenagers and a child can accomplish it, then I'm sorry, but any adult should also have been able to accomplish it before. Can you tell them of the space stone? Yeah, sure. Why not? Now, results you think far would be happy to hear just a status report. 
Start the next operation now. There are still mysteries for us to solve. The mysteries of the Icarians. So, do we head east? I like how Lean was just super quiet there for a second. Yes, to the ruins. Move up the final inspection of our ship. The Lean Lot. Lean will be on forced march starting again tomorrow. Rest up a little tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Now, why was Lean Bosch in there, huh? Sounds kind of sauce, doesn't it? Alright, let's save. So, we are actually going to get uh, a pretty a pretty good item here, to be fair. Well, technically, we're going to get two good items, although one of them... Eh, one of them's not too amazing. But the other one is actually kind of like end game level to be fair like it is actually incredibly incredibly good but though i'm afraid to say you're not going to see that until the next one because i'm going to end this video right here so though i do hope you guys have enjoyed if you have then please be sure to smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below and for anybody new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content as always everybody Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.